Hi you guys, so today's video we're going to be doing another Barbie haul. We have about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is the final of the Barbie dolls that we're going to be showing you. We have so many, so much stuff to go through. Or the little outfit for the little cabbage patch dolls. So I'll be showing you that. The one that I restored if you've seen my um little community tab post. Um, So I have an outfit to share, share with you guys. I also have a vintage walking doll. I have her gigantic box. It's a little preview of the box. Her name is Winnie, and she's a walking doll. Unfortunately, she does not work because she's a really, really antique old doll. So I'm going to be showing you her anyway once her little bows come in because I ordered her little bows. And I wanted her to look cute for her little video debut. So let's do this video. So first, we're going to be taking a look at Astronaut Barbie. There was two different versions. One of them, they actually took to outer space. I don't know which one it was, but one Barbie doll, they did take to outer space. Like they did the Cabbage Patch doll, they did the same thing to Barbie. Now, I think it was the one from the 80s, if I'm not mistaken. They released this for the 25th anniversary of, of Apollo um, in the 1990s, which is really, really cute. She's, she's kind of cool, kind of, you know, cool. She's awesome, right? She's got all of her accessories. She's got glowing and dark moon rock rocks, and she's got she's very blonde and very ambitious. This is astronaut Barbie, and she is from 1994. So she's 1994 astronaut Barbie. We all love a good astronaut Barbie, don't we? Very very cute, cool, very very nice, and she's got a pretty good. They said to the best of their abilities, authentic type spacesuit. That is vinyl, some type of vinyl, I think. But she's really, really cool. She's from the 90s. Very, very awesome. And this was released for the 25th anniversary of Apollo. So it wasn't, I got it from a collector, you guys. So it was in really nice condition. Now, this one from the 80s is a little bit beat up. And she's called Astronaut Barbie. And um, she is from 1985. So 1985 Astronaut Barbie. And this is a nice little retro style Barbie doll. Let's see, I know the box glare is just crazy, but she has these big old poofy sleeves, you guys. All of her accessories are up to the bottom, so I'm just saying, you guys, she's a really, really cool doll to own. This is the back of the box, in case you guys are curious. I mean, she's a really, really cool retro doll to own. She's got boots and a flag, helmet, and she's got that little same gear thing right here that the, um, that the one in the white dress comes the white suit and she's got the same type of flag now this is peeling and corroding this is something that happens with barbies over time this look they flake off that's just how it happens she's very reminiscent to of um angel face barbie except she's got makeup on but she's really really cool this is called astronaut barbie she's very very amazing love 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 her she's gorgeous i would recommend her if you could pick her up in stores she's in stores online I bought both of these astronaut barbies from eBay. So if you're looking for her, she's 1985 astronaut Barbie. I like to tell you guys the year because you guys are definitely sometimes looking for these dolls like I am. And it's so hard to find them, especially when you're not, you know, you're looking for a doll in particular. So this is a real throwback for you guys, okay? Trolls was so popular when I was little. I had a troll doll. I had one that was, it had rainbow hair and it was flesh toned. They're not like today's trolls. Today's trolls are remanufactured at Target and they're like colored, but they never was like that when I was little. They were always flesh toned and the hair was always different colors. But this is called Troll Barbie. Barbie and Trolls collaborated and they made this beautiful retro doll. And the hair was interchangeable on the Barbie's head. The Barbie head, Barbie would use the hair from the trolls as like little barrettes. And she came with an actual troll necklace, which is really cool, and the troll earrings and the troll leggings. She's all trolled out, definitely. She's very, very cool. This is this is one of my recommendations. Recommendations if you could find her. What year is she from? I want to tell you guys. Um, that troll necklace can also be. Let's see, necklace you. Okay, so the necklace that Barbie's wearing it can be worn on you also. So this is like jewelry for you. So that's really, really cool. She's 1992 Troll Barbie, so if you're looking for her, 1992 Troll Barbie, she comes with long, glamorous hair, a big poofy bang, and a nice little troll accessory barrette on the top, which is really, really nice. Trolls were such a big thing, you guys, if you're from my town, you remember. I was a child of the late 80s, early 90s, so I was in that beginning of the late, eight, I don't know, late 80s, early 90s, that, that was my childhood, so... I do remember Trolls. I had one when I was little. This is a really, really cool collector's item to have. If you can find her, new in box, I would recommend her because you need all the troll accessories. Which is, trolls are amazing. 
Next we have Southern Belle Barbie. I love a good Southern Belle Barbie doll. Um, what year is she from before I show her to you? That way you guys can get an idea. I like to tell you guys the year. I don't know. It's just me. So she's from 1991. This is 1991. Southern Belle Barbie. And she comes with a parasail and a big old giant floppy hat. And her dress is one of them transforming dresses you can see in the um thing. It goes from a little, you could just have this a little poof or no, no poof at all. So she's a very transforming doll. Back in the day, these dolls did always did something, always did some, some type of transforming action. Not like modern dolls today. Modern dolls of today are just a Barbie doll and that's what you get. Not unless it, it's specified as on the packaging. But most of the time when you got a Barbie back in the day, they always did something. So just FYI, she's really, really pretty too. I mean, look at her out of the box. Back in the day too, Barbies, what you see is what you got. They didn't like airbrush the photos. This is exactly what you got in the box, you guys. I'm just saying, like back in the day, they showed you what you're actually getting. So, you know what I'm saying? Maybe longer hair, I would say. That was the only difference between the box pictures and the actual doll itself. That's what I would say, personally. But I think she's a great doll owned. She's called Southern Belle Barbie. Very, very nice. Let me know in the comments down below which one's your favorite too, by the way. I'd love to hear from you guys. Okay, this is Barbie, Country Western Star Barbie, and she is from 1994, and Barbie did the high-low dress. You know how everybody was doing the high-low dress? Barbie did it in 1994 before it was, it was even popular that I know of. 1994, Country Western Star Barbie. She's very, very cute. She's got the uh, all these fringe. She's got the earrings, girl. She's got the high-low dress with the tool in the back. Just a very 90s Barbie. Very, very cute, you guys. Very, very cute. 90s Barbie, definitely. Let's see, what was it from? 1994. 1994. Look at that fringe. And she comes in a microphone, you guys. It's a Walmart exclusive Barbie doll, special edition. Um, she comes with a hairbrush and a pair of pumps in the bottom. And you can just take a look at this gaudiness of all these flowers. And just amazing. This thing is so cool. I love showing you guys my Barbies. Sometimes I find these weird, strange Barbies. And I love sharing them with you because I didn't have Barbies as a child. So I'm just showing you all my Barbies that I have today. So it's very, very cute and nostalgic for me to see these dolls again. Some of them anyway. So this is, um, there's a guy called Golden Marie Priest on Instagram that I follow. And he had this Barbie. And I was like, oh, she's so pretty. You know, she's wintry. She's cool. I don't know United Colors of Benin. Uh, what that's about, but I like the doll itself. I don't know the history behind it, so maybe somebody could educate me in the comments down below. That just to give me an idea of what this is about and why the colors are on this Barbie. Um, just give me a brief explanation because I just love this doll and I just want to know what this is about. I'm sure I can Google it too, but I just bought the doll because she was gorgeous and she was pretty. She's like wintry, and like something that they don't do anymore. So this is United Colors of Bitten, if I'm pronouncing that right. Hopefully. She had the crimped hair, the, the hat. See what I'm talking about, you guys? She's very wintry with the winter bag, the winter coat. And she's got a scarf and she's got a pair of um pumps with some leggings and um, little ruffle socks on the bottom. And this was um, Maria Ken, Barbie, Christy, and Teresa was also available. Maria was Kira. And back in my time, it was called Kira. It wasn't called Maria. They always changing these dolls' name, But she's gorgeous. I love, I love the crimps and the fluff bang. This is the other girls that's available. He had, I think, this one, this one, and this one. I think he had this one, too. I'm not really mistaken. I'm not sure if I'm mistaken, but that's Teresa, Christy, Barbie, Ken, and Maria. So that's the ones that were available at the time. Very, very cute dolls. Very, very colorful. Something that they don't really do no more. I guess it's not in style. I don't know. But she's very, very cute nonetheless. Isn't she adorable? We love a good crimpy Barbie. Isn't that great? So the last two we have is Dr. Barbie. Dr. Barbie who was amazing, you guys. She came with so many accessories and she's from 1980 something, 1987. 1987, a Dr. Barbie. I mean, look at how cool she is. She's got a doctor gear, you guys. Remember when everything was pop out? When they had all the little accessories because everything was like on a thing. And you used to have to actually pop the accessories out. They weren't like they are today, like they were bagged, like they are today. But back in the day, you used to have to pop them out, all the accessories anyway. 
but she's got her doctor case, her millions of accessories on the bottom. They, I mean, they just loaded you down back in the 80s, the 90s, and the 2000s. They did this. Nowadays, they don't do this anymore. But back in the day, they used to load you down with accessories and everything you needed to be a doctor. They didn't accept, they didn't have stuff sold separately. And these Barbies were relatively inexpensive too back in the day, I think, in my opinion. But I think she's gorgeous. She's got that head turning thing. I bought it from Amazon, believe it or not. Amazon does not clarify what kind of doll you're going to be getting. They say you're going to be getting it new in box, but they don't tell you the damage, the extent of the damage. So I got lucky with this doll because I've gotten a few dolls in the past from Amazon that were damaged. But FYI, if you plan on um, buying these from Amazon, just to note that they do not class cl cl clarify like the damage. You know, it's a shame, but she is really cute. I love her. She's called Dr. Barbie. Here's the doctor on his thing. And again, she's from um 1987. So 1987, Dr. Barbie, she's looking for her. Now, this I do remember. This is from the 90s. This is called Dentist Barbie. I mean, Dentist Barbie was talking. Okay, back in the day, they had a talking Barbie doll. Like they did, like they do every couple of years. And um, she works with um watch batteries, I think. I think they still have watch batteries in her. I'm debating on whether to take her out because acid from the batteries will leak and corrode the doll itself so this may be a box opening in the future i don't typically buy dolls that have batteries in general this one got lost and i'm so glad it made it here you guys but it did get lost for a minute just saying but um the way that it worked though she would she would talk to kelly and that's some of the phrases that she would say um she's brushing her teeth this was a collaboration with crust toothpaste which is really cool um, I don't think they had an affiliate in the design, but they wanted to add their product in there as like advertisement type of situation. But she is really, really cool as the Kelly doll. Of course, her elastics are out and all of the accessories fell to the bottom. She does have a little mask and everything. Like, look how cute that is. Isn't that cute? Like with Barbie and Kelly brushing her teeth and it's great. I love, love, love these dolls. You guys, these are very, very nostalgic dolls in my opinion. She's called Dennis Barbie and she is from... 1990 something I think what year 1997 and it's a collaboration with crust uh, On the back it says Mattel and it says crust so it is a collaboration and It didn't include coupons on the back. I think in the inside when you did buy the Barbie so that's really really cool So let me know in the comments down below which one's your favorite and just remember to like and subscribe and you'll see more doll videos. Bye